Hello, my name is Ward Toller, and I'm an Ole Miss engineer. My name is Janice Hodges, and I'm an Ole Miss engineer. My name is David Rozier, and I'm an Ole Miss engineer. I grew up in uh, Oxford, Mississippi, so I really fell in love with the town at a young age. I loved going to football games, loved hanging out in Oxford. Uh, so I really wanted to go here from a very young age. Uh, I visited some other colleges, but they just didn't really have the pull for me that Ole Miss had. Uh, I chose Ole Miss for engineering because going into this department, I saw that it was quality over quantity. So they cater to their students. They make sure that you are the best engineer that you can be. My mom had a big influence on that because she is a chemical engineer. And just seeing how she's worked in her industry, it challenged her and it made her think critically. And that's something that I've always wanted. I always wanted to challenge my mind and um, not do the same thing every day. And so chemical engineering was that outlet for me. And it also allowed me or when I do graduate to go into more than one avenue. Like I wasn't really stuck on one career. I could choose what I wanted to do instead of having it chosen for me. I chose Ole Miss for engineering because first of all, I love the school. I've, I've grown up loving Ole Miss. And I knew that if I came here, I would have an opportunity to pursue chemical engineering, which is what I decided to do. But also, I would have opportunities elsewhere. You know, I've been in the, the Honors College here at Ole Miss, as well as the Center for Manufacturing Excellence. So I had different options of you know, different majors and opportunities I could pursue. My favorite class is Chemie 307, which is Mass Balances. Uh, the chair of the Chemical Engineering Department, Dr. O'Haver, teaches it. And just in that class, it lets you know that you could actually be a chemical engineer. It challenges your mind, but it's so fun. The students are relaxed. O'Haver's relaxed. We're laughing, but we're also getting work done. And that was my first intro to chemical engineering, and I loved it. It was challenging, and sometimes I had long nights, but I loved the class. My favorite class so far, my professor probably wouldn't believe me if I said this, but it's senior design that I'm in right now and it's, it's really challenging. It's definitely the hardest class I've ever had, but I love it. You really get to put together everything you've learned and work on a project as a team and applying everything that you've learned in your four or five years to a project and solve a complex problem and present those results and learn how to communicate those best. It's, it's really fulfilling and it really you know, has affirmed to me my choice of pursuing chemical engineering and all this. So last semester I took a uh, engineering 540 class with uh, Dr. Paul Scavazza. Uh, it's, it's called uh, Environmental Organic Transport Phenomena. And it's, it's really learning how uh, different chemicals interact in the real world. So uh, it's how gases, liquids, and solids uh, transfer from maybe a liquid to a vapor phase. And it was really interesting because we got to see how chemicals and chemical engineering applies to like a real world problem. So instead of kind of learning these crazy theories that some engineering classes would have, Dr. Scavazzo would give us a real world problem. He would say, maybe you've spilled some oil on the ground. How long is that oil going to take to seep into the groundwater? Or if you're trying to clean it up, how long would it take to clean it up with a certain substance? It was a really interesting class to figure out how chemical engineering works in the real world. Past summer, summer 2017, I worked as a process engineer in Miro, Louisiana at Valero Refinery. And so working as a process engineer, I worked in optimization. So I would walk around the refinery, see what was going wrong, what needed to be improved, and off of that, I would base my project. And in summer 2016, I worked at the University of Oregon as a research assistant and fertilization and sexual reproduction. And so this was more the long lines of medical research. So I've done research with uh, Dr. Scavazzo and Dr. Adam Smith. Uh, we are researching magnetic ionic liquids. Uh, and those are organic liquids that can be affected by a magnetic field. We're trying to see how uh, those liquids can be used to maybe clean up organic substances like toluene, benzene, styrene, those kind of things. It's been a great experience uh, trying to figure out how to work in a team, interacting with professors, with students, with a lot of different people on, people on campus trying to figure out how to do this research. So last year I worked at Cooperative Energy in Batesville, Mississippi. Uh, it's a natural gas electric generating station. 
Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, got to see how engineers work in a professional environment. Uh, again, it's, it's a lot of teamwork, uh, working with other engineers, with staff, with contractors that may come on site to do different uh, jobs or work. So my first internship experience was after my freshman year with International Paper in Vicksburg, Mississippi. And that was my you know, very first internship ever. I had no idea what to expect, but at the end of it, you know, it really affirmed my choice of pursuing engineering. Uh, I really liked it. I really liked the nature of you know, being tasked with solving a problem and figuring out what that problem is, coming up with a solution, and presenting the answer. So my next internship was with 3M, with uh, their chemical plant in Decatur, Alabama. And with that experience, I got to see not only uh, you know, the chemical process side of things, but also lean manufacturing. My role was lean manufacturing intern, and I was able to apply in that experience a little differently than my first. Uh, some of the things I've learned with the CME here at Ole Miss of lean manufacturing and, and those principles of reducing cost and improving quality. And finally, I had a chance in the fall of 2016 to work for ExxonMobil at their Baton Rouge refinery. And again, that was a different experience for me, having experience in pulp and paper, specialty chemicals, and then petrochemicals. That was really cool, getting to see all the different opportunities that are, that are out there for chemical engineers. What I really hope to gain from being a chemical engineer and like getting this degree is that my mind is challenged and that I'm able to come up with different avenues to like figure out a process or come up with a solution for a problem. Because working at the refinery this past summer, when I had a roadblock, being here at Ole Miss and learning how to do more, uh, more than, like doing more than one way to figure out a problem, it helped me because I would get at a roadblock and I wouldn't know what to do, but because I had this background here at Ole Miss, I was able to figure out a whole new solution. My plans after graduation, I'm looking to work in oil and refinery because I, my biggest thing is that I want to do something new every day. And working in oil this past summer, I was literally doing something new every day. I had a new project, I had a new aim, and my mentor was never afraid to give me work. Hope to work in industry. I'm really interested by the petrochemical and manufacturing industries and hope to get a job with one of those companies. And My plan after graduation is to go work for International Paper. I've accepted a job with them to be a process engineer at their Vicksburg mill and I'm really looking forward to that and the opportunities that's going to present to me. I'm going to start out as a process engineer, see where it takes me. I, I see myself going into management in a leadership position. Uh, it's definitely prepared me well and taught me so many different things that I think are going to help me later in life. Uh, and Ole Miss has felt like a home for me. The biggest thing is that if you want a quality education instead of just being in a room full of chemical engineers who don't know each other, Ole Miss Engineering is the place for you because we literally know everyone. We help each other out as much as we possibly can. The professors cater to you. They make sure that you get what you need and that you understand what you can do and what you cannot do. And they'll make sure that in the end you can do everything that you need to be the best engineer once you leave here. And so Ole Miss Chemical Engineering is all about quality. And if you want to be the best that you can, I strongly recommend coming to Ole Miss Chemical Engineering Department. For engineers, the, the technical knowledge isn't as important as you think. You get that at Ole Miss for sure. I've worked alongside, you know, in, in my internships, I've worked alongside students from some of the biggest engineering schools in the country, from Georgia Tech, from Purdue, from MIT, and I felt absolutely just as prepared as any one of them as far as technical knowledge. But what Ole Miss can offer you is, number one, a, a small faculty to student ratio where you really get that one-on-one -on -one experience with your professors, and that, that is so important in helping you learn. And second is the emphasis on the soft skills of communication, and teamwork, that's really what sets all this apart.